Two months I've been waiting. It's finally arrived. I catch a moment. Well, I'm not kidding when I say two months. I ordered this two months ago. I didn't think I was going to get it. And it's, uh, well, 8.30 this morning, it rocked up. And it's Saturday. Now, to give you a time frame of what's going on, today, Saturday, while all the lunatics in the city have their rallies, which will turn into riots and all... sort of thing over everything that's been going on lately you know what I'm talking about so while all those lunatics are going nuts probably gonna smash up the city or whatever I don't know they can do that I'll stay here and I'll play with this anyway I also just um, noticed when I do these videos I seem to be wearing this jumper I do have other clothes I don't know what it is it's like when I do a video I appear to be wearing this friggin jumper anyway this literally did take two months. I ordered this about two months ago on a pre-sale um, and it was at a, an awesome price. It's not expensive, uh, this projector. It's not expensive at all. But it's a major upgrade to the one I've got up on the roof, which I've had for about uh, 12, 15 years. So that one on the roof, it's certainly not, it's not 1080, it's probably not even 720. I'm not sure what it is. Um, but it's done good. All these years I've had to change the globe in at once, but all these years it's done great. But about time for an upgrade. So I was looking. Now I bought this from Kogan. If you're from Australia, you would know, possibly know what Kogan is. It's just an online shopping thing. Um, now for around this price, this was only $300. Now it's nearly $500 after the pre-sale finished. The price jumped almost $200, I don't know why, but anyway, um, when the pre-sale was over, there was delay, 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 the product just wasn't coming in, so there's a lot of uh, arguments back and forth through email, I'm like, fuck, I'll get another one, and all this sort of thing, and send me a more expensive, but I was cracking it, but I've been waiting so long, but it wasn't their fault, the product hadn't come in to their warehouse, so they weren't able to send it, and they were very apologetic and all that. I sent them an email this morning apologizing for my carry-ons. Uh, I told them it had come this morning and thank you very much because uh, it wasn't their fault but you know what it's like. You know you think why you've taken my money and run that's what it felt like. Anyway this particular projector the reason I didn't buy a different one is because this thing has lumen wise 5,000 lumens um, now the others around this price, the highest of lumens I could get was 3,000. This is five. The one on the roof is only 1,200. So this is should be so damn friggin' bright. Um, so apart from the 5,000 lumens, it's also got a 6,000 to one contrast ratio. That one certainly doesn't. And the others around this price, and ones that are even a bit dearer, didn't have the contrast ratio of 6,000 to one. To get very close to what this is supposed to do, which we'll find out, um, the price range then jumped up to around the $900, close to the $2,000 mark. So I don't know why for $300 this does what it does. I've looked at a lot of videos online with this projector. This particular projector goes by different names. Um, like the Q9, I will put it up and I'll show you the different one. They're all the same projector, but just around the world it has different names. Um, all right, now, we'll get into this. Uh, I did have someone say to me in a, in a message, I think it was when I got the, um, the TV in the kitchen, um, someone said, oh, basically, excuse my language, but they said, oh, for fuck's sake, will you fucking hurry up and fucking get on with it? Because I tend to talk a lot in these videos. If you don't like it, turn it off. But what I'll do is I'm going to, I'll film installing this, taking that one down and installing this, but we'll look at it first. So anyone who just wants to see the projector, well, let's look at it. And I'll do that first. And after, if you want to turn it off, turn it off. But then I'll film installing it. 
The only downside also to this projector that it doesn't have, that really pisses me off, is I know you can't zoom the size of the, script, the picture in and out. It's just set to one side. It goes by how close you go in or come out. Now if I was just on a table, um, that'd be fine. But I won't, not on a table, it's on the roof. Now I think where my ceiling mount is on the roof here, uh, I'm not gonna get this perfect, but I think I'm gonna have to take the ceiling mount off the roof and bring the ceiling, ceiling mount in closer. Because the one thing that Hitachi one up there has is I can make the screen smaller or bigger. At the moment it's set to just under halfway. If I go all the way, basically behind you where you are, where the speakers and everything are, that actually fills up that entire wall. Um, so I don't know where I'm gonna have to place this. I'm gonna figure out roughly the size and move the ceiling mount. I won't get it perfectly right, so what I'll have to do is I'll have to do it via the computer, bring the size in or out, and hopefully I can save it like that in some way. Anyway, what do you reckon? Let's get on with it. Let's let's open this thing up. I'm gonna cut my finger off in a minute, aren't I? Okay, so let's use this blade and let's get the box open. Come on. What are you thinking? What are you using a blade like that? Aren't they illegal? I don't know. Maybe, probably. Anyway. Alright, well, what is this? Box in a box. 5000 lumens, full HD projector, the F800, whatever the hell that means. It says Kogan.com, but uh, as I said, there are other, uh, it's called other names elsewhere. Another box to get rid of. All right, out of the way, chair. All right, well, at least the uh, packaging's better than the box that come in. Even a little handle to carry. Okay. Uh, let me guess, this is just a little box of goodies, I suppose. Let me guess. The manual. Gigantic manual. Rah, rah, rah. Oh, come on. Okay. Come. There we go. Oh, look at that, pretties. Oh, okay. Um, that was actually a bit heavier than I thought it was going to be. Right, beautiful. This will just be the power and all that. So what have we got here? Uh, a real high quality remote. But once again, 300 bucks for the expense. Power, don't need to worry about it because I'll just use the uh, jug lead that's already up there on the roof. So don't need to worry about that. HDMI lead, don't need to worry about that. I've already got one running up there. Okay, one where you plug in just old school stuff, you know, your video, left and right audio. <coughs> and I know that's the um, little screw thing that you put underneath where it would mount it and make it sit higher. Now, good thing I did look at some of this stuff uh, on YouTube, because I know, hang on a sec, I'll open this. Uh, when it comes to the ceiling mount, I wouldn't have known otherwise. The little tiny plastic things here, little feet, from what I can tell, you peel them off, and the screws are in there for ceiling mount. All right, let's have a look. We've got the front here, and it's got this very, I suppose it's like a material and I suppose they think they're going for a more modern look. To me, this so-called modern look looks like something from the 70s. Um, and then you got the same thing on the back. All right, so we've got two HDMI inputs, AV input, headphone socket, two USB ports, VGA. I won't need VGA. That other projector, I've had to use VGA. I won't need that anymore. I do know this from looking at other videos. Oh, well, the front is a bit of a crappy lens cover, oh God. lens cover, but I can't get off. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, there we go. So I can already tell that there's no control to make that um, lens go in and out to bring the screening uh, closer or bigger. 
on the side, obviously one's for focus, and that one there is for keystone adjustment. Pop that back on there. But yeah, no, this uh, material thing, it just reminds me of the 70s. It's, it looks cool and different. I mean, the other models around the world that have this, they actually have in written in gold the brand name in here, which looks cool. This doesn't have that, but that doesn't matter. It's the same, it's the same one anyway. All right, well, basically, that was a quick unboxing of uh, that. I don't think there was anything else in the, in the box at all. Um, yeah. Uh, but it, as I said, like, yeah, anyone who just wants to have a quick know of this projector before I start screwing around and talking a lot, um, yeah, that's 5,000 lumens, uh, which is it tops that one, that one's only 1,200, 6,000 one contrast ratio, it goes up to 300, 300 inches, whatever in size. In other words, I think it gets up to um, screen size before you start losing picture quality. I think it was uh, like four meters or whatever. No, 300, um, 300 inch, but I've only got a, a 100 inch screen, so it doesn't matter, I haven't got a 300. Um, so, yeah, I'm trying to think. But uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. So now I've got the hassle of, um, it's just all the basic shit that I already know anyway. Why is it giving me the impression that it's an Android? It's not. Um, yeah, what I've got to do now is up that projector. I've got a VGA lead. Um, so what it is, is, I've got this box that converts HDMI to VGA. I've got a VGA lead running up there. So I'm going to rip that out. Um, I've already got a HDMI lead running from the amp straight up. So there's your part. There's my pass through there. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to take that projector down and see where the hell this thing's gonna go because I know that mount's gonna have to come off the friggin roof oh well I guess this is my game ready to go actually I was just taking these little feet off and I thought um, I would actually show you that these little uh, nibbly bits just gotta come out I can't get it out with my fingernail so I'm just using this just to pry it up a little bit oh, come on So as you can see, ah, uh, where are we? That's where the screws are, just so you can sealing mount it. Also that I forgot to mention that I know that's in here. Um, it also has speakers, so there's a little lamp in there. I think it's uh, five or 10 watts, and there's also little tiny subs in there. So if you're just using this as just to demonstrate stuff or whatever, and you need audio, audio comes out of it, but we will not be using the audio out of it. I'll be turning that off and obviously using the sound out here. Okay, okay guys, before I pr proceed and uh, keep moving along with the projector, it has been almost a month since I put up a video. Now, I have done a, a couple of other little changes out here, uh, so I thought I'd give you a look. I put in two smart switches. Now, the whole Google thing, because obviously you know the whole house, if you've seen the other videos, runs by Google. We even put in a thing a few weeks ago where the water for the shower and the spa all runs by voice. So I can ask Google to, I just say shower time, the shower starts up, the water starts, uh, the radio turns on, the lighting is set to how I like it. And that, that took about a week to do because we had to cut out a hole in the wall, cut the hot water pipe and attach this gizmo thing that actually turns it on and off but inside the wall. Um, and then yeah, I had to wait for a week to make sure it wasn't going to leak and then patched up the hole and I had to repaint the bloody hallway So I won't show you that but I had that done but out here um, I The whole point of this is I didn't really want the Google stuff out here the automation stuff out here Because inside it can drive me nuts uh, out, out here. I like to control everything myself, but um, I actually moved the power board that was here and I put it there. Now behind it, you got the freaking speakers are in the way. Um, I put a new amplifier that runs the, the sound for watching TV or music from the jukebox. So this is what I did. When there are no lights on out here, I have a downlight up there and the amp and the EQ there. So let's have a look. So yeah, if we just look in the back there, I've got two smart switches. 
that's the power board there but it's too hard to get to to turn things on and off so this is why I put the the switches in there so now um, I just say I do apologize warning I'm gonna say the G word so the down light which is up here hey Google turn on the down light You would have heard a click and have a download there. Now that's if I'm watching TV out here at night. It's just a little bit of backlight, you know, up there. So, uh, hey Google, turn off the download. Okay, and when it comes to the amplifier and the EQ, hey Google, turn on the amplifier. And there we go, it switches it on for me. I only did this because I can't get to the back. I cannot get to the power board. So, there's that. Okay, this I've got, I've got to show because to me this was an amazing find. Uh, I love my music and all that. Now, as far as I'm concerned, there are no, for the longest time, the last 20 years, whatever, when it comes to hard rock metal bands, there hasn't been one in all that time. Except this band, which have actually been going since the 80s, but they were never founded. Um, Gene Simmons from KISS actually signed them and they made it big. But the other day I found this. I actually found Steel Panther on vinyl. If you don't know who Steel Panther are, go check them out. They're it's hard rock metal. They're funny. Um, they are. They were hilarious live on stage. Like they insult each other. They insult the crowd. They these are fantastic. But it's still in the plastic. I'm not going to take this out of plastic because I cannot believe I actually found them on vinyl. Okay. Well, first things first. Need to get up here. And need to get. Oh, where are we? That projector off the roof so climb up with me and we'll have a look uh, as you can see there's a HDMI lead there that I already set aside for that new projector and um, it's not going to be there I'm going to probably gonna have to move it closer that I have to use a VGA there are no HDMI inputs in, in this as I said it's like 15 years old where are we? is the, the ceiling mount <clears throat> oh, a bit dusty things have been up here for a while so I'm going to unscrew that and get them off. Okay, I just noticed that this video has been going for probably more than 15 minutes, probably 15, 16 minutes, but I don't care. Uh, this is going to be a long video, as it turns out. Anyway, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> look, you've seen, you've seen the projector, so I did that bit. The rest is just installing this. It's a bit of fun for me. All right, so let's get up there. I found the right uh, Allen key, whatever the hell. You want to school anyway? That to uh, get that thing off and pull it down. Probably going to fast motion now, but let's go. I'll give you a bit of a look at uh, this one. As I said, this one's about 15 years old. Uh, it's done really, really well. I will most certainly still hold on to this because if I ever have parties or whatever, I want to take a projector and screen outside or down the carport, this projector is much better than that Epson one that I've got. So I would never get rid of this. Plus the globe's still pretty, not all that old. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna drop the screen. Uh, we'll actually fire up that projector so I know roughly which place um, I need to, to well, put it up on the roof because no doubt that's going to be too far back. I'll probably need to come about two foot closer. So we'll get the screen down and we'll have a look. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do here is um, I'm just dangling leads. Um, I'm just going to have to hold it, I'll plug it in and walk in and in and back and see roughly where it's going to match up with um, with the screen ah. 
So this won't be a, a test of picture quality or anything yet, it's just getting the sizing right. So let's see, we'll see what kind of what happens. Really, it says Kogan. Oh shit. Okay, uh. Damn it. You know what? This is looking pretty damn close to where it, maybe it needs to be. This thing wants me to do a setup, so. English, I guess. I could always be Portugal or something. Oh no, no. I'll need to be... You son of a bitch! Oh, that's going to be a pain. Where to put that? It really is. Um, okay, this... The picture... Okay, I've got to wait until obviously it goes up. But the picture looks... Okay, that's the keystone adjustment. The picture looks great. Um, unfortunately, alright, I've got a rough idea where it's going to go, and that's a bit of a pain. Where are we? About there. I can see a mark on the roof where it's going to have to go. I know that's not a very like professional way or whatever of judging it, but uh, well, shit, it's the best I've got. Alright, so we have a look. Where are we? That's where it was. See where that light is? It needs to go there. So I've got to create, put more bloody holes in the roof. Uh, yeah. Oh well, I knew that was going to happen. Okay guys, uh, I've been sort of looking over this. Now, this uh, ceiling bracket, it's actually, it's been up there for so many years, I can't for the life of you remember how to actually take the thing down. Uh, <laughs> let alone put more holes in the in the roof and all that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the projector to this one and okay, the screen will be bigger, but I'll use that AMD uh, program or whatever, I, I think I have that, which I'll use just to bring the picture in a bit. Uh, it's a real pain that that projector doesn't have, you know, the manual adjustment. I don't think it does. I mean, I haven't even looked at that yet, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Uh, so I'll have to do it via the computer, which will be a little bit of a pain, but you know, I use the projector once a week, maybe once every second week. It's not a common thing. And for the adjustment of, a, you know, a minute, so what? So I'm going to get it up on uh, here and then figure out what I'm going to do. But I'm not going to adjust this because it's just too much of a pain in the ass. Real fire. It's real. Okay, I got distracted. Had to go down the street, get myself a couple of cans, had to do a bit of shopping. But, ah, uh, it's that time of night, I suppose. The projector's up. I did have to do some alterations, but we'll have a look. I just wanted you to join me by this real fire. Okay, it's clearly not a real fire, it's a fake one, but it does blow out heat and it is getting bloody uh, cold out here at the moment. So, anyway, what I've had to do, a um, bit hard to see here, I think. Uh, I had to put in this program, it's a, uh, what is it, Intel uh, Graphics Command Center. Now, what this does, it's a, a little bit in, in depth, um, but what you, all you need to do when it's open, Hang on a sec, okay. What 
when it's over here, I go into um, display. Now everything's already set here. The resolution uh, is at 1080 by 2560, which is um, recommended. So that's uh, what it's recommended there. I go to number two. Obviously, number two is the screen up there. And I already pre did this. Refresh rate is at 59, uh, not 60, but 59p. Um, now, it's, it's said it's already been set. Aspect ratio 16.9. Now, what this does, this will uh, actually make that projector fit on that screen. So, this is going to be running in the background. Uh, so I'll get the normal picture on my monitor here, but the secondary screen, which runs up there, has already been set to um, not overscale, to underscale the picture. Now I don't want to screw around with it too much because it took me a bit to actually get this right, um, but it's called uh, graphic, Graphics Command Center, and that's what I've uh, had to, to use, which actually makes that projector fit perfectly on the screen. So, that's what I'm using there. Alright, so uh, we'll get the thing turned on. Makes a little, little, ch little chime sound. Alright, it's all been... Um, I made sure it was level and all that sort of crap. So, uh, picture's fine. Everything's getting confused. There we go, so it's over there. Now what we'll do is I'll put on, uh, a bit hard to see because obviously I've got these lights on, but it is, I can see this better with these lights on than with that other, other, other than that, ah, that other projector. With these lights on and that other projector, I couldn't even see a picture at all. You can probably slightly see it, but I can see it a lot better than what it was. So we'll actually put on a picture and we'll have a look. Okay, so now uh, admittedly it's very hard for you to see what I'm seeing, but this is uh, throwing on a 4K picture. It's not a 4K projector, but it passes through 4K. This picture, for the goddamn price, I am blown out of water. Like, oh my god, this looks like 4K. I couldn't be, I really couldn't be more happier. The contrast ratio, the brightness, just, I can see everything. And at the edges here, there's no dulling, it's perfect on the edges. I am not blowing smoke up your ass, I am being damn well serious here. This is an amazing picture. So if anyone wants to get cheap out, spend only a couple of hundred bucks on something like this, boy do I recommend doing it. I mean it doesn't compare to the, the big JVC one I got in the lounge room. But I tell you what, it comes close. And that kind of shits me, because that thing was 13 grand. This was $300. All right, well, there we go. Uh, here's the latest video of getting the projector. And I tell you what, this thing up here, I am so overwhelmed and I'm blown away by the picture quality I've got out of this, especially for the price. Like, seriously, I'm not kidding when I say how good it looks. Um, I'm <laughs> kind of a little bit blown away by this. I mean, I would expect something like this from a much, much more expensive projector. And this is only 300 bucks. And I've seen elsewhere in other parts of the world when people have bought this, they've got it, they have actually got it for 199. Now, obviously that's a different rate of when it comes to uh, money in different countries, but this thing actually jacked up, as I said, where I bought it from after the pre-sale to nearly $500. But it still seems worth more than that because the, the picture was really that good. Um, all right, well, that's it. Uh, I've just <laughs> I've just texted out the word to my band members, and psh, what have we got? Psh, about uh, 20 minutes to half an hour. They're all rocking up, and they're going to bring a bootload full of booze, so I've just been told, what have I done? I've opened a can of worms here. But they want to come over, check it out, we'll probably watch a couple of movies and make a buttload of noise. Anyway, uh, so they'll be here in probably about 20 minutes. 20 minutes, I'm gonna guess. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. I know this was a long video, um, but yeah, I'll catch you on the next one, and I would recommend one of these. Um, as I said, it's give it's different names around different parts of the world. It has a different name. I got this one from Kogan, um, 
So if you're in Australia and you're looking for a projector, uh, all the other ones they have around this price, I'd stay away from it. Um, I would stick with this. Because remember I said at the start of the video, I was going through a lot of dramas um, trying to get this. And it, it wasn't actually in stock even though I pre-ordered it. And I was going to go and buy, like change my mind and get another one. But the lumens and the contrast ratio weren't as high. I'm glad I waited. And it's just like, I got an email from them yesterday saying, your item has now been shipped and it'll be delivered on Tuesday to Thursday next week. Now that was yesterday. 8.30 this morning, probably because I cracked the shit so much, 8.30 this morning, the delivery guy rocked up knocking on the door and I'm like, seriously, today's not Tuesday? So uh, it's Saturday. So yeah, they, they actually worked in my favor. I sent them a nice email thanking them and for putting up with me. So um, yeah, all right, I'll catch you on the next video, guys. Enjoy yourselves. See you later.